the great thing about pawn shops is that you have a wide variety of customers coming to the shop with all kinds of interesting items and chances are that every once in a while someone will bring in a real treasure and that is no different at the Gold's American Jewelry and Loan in Detroit, Michigan. The pawn shop that was featured on True TV's popular reality series Hardcore Pawn for four years. While many customers brought in rather spectacular items, there were a few very memorable transactions that included some very unique items from party buses to deathmobiles. Here are some items on Hardcore Pawn that you've never seen before. In one of the earlier episodes of Hardcore Pawn, Les purchased a 1941 Chevrolet for $5,800, which at the time was one of the show's biggest and riskiest buys. Three years later in season 6, Les's children were giving him a hard time because the vintage vehicle was just collecting dust and taking up space in the storage unit. So in order to save face, the pawn shop owner had to try his best to finally sell it, and he managed to do just that. After two guys from the Detroit Car Show came to his shop to check it out, eventually striking a deal at an incredible $14,500. Despite a return rate of nearly 150%, Seth and Ashley didn't seem to be very enthusiastic, and simply pointed out that there were still so many more cars sitting back there, and that even with a Chevy gone, there wasn't really enough space. I got 14,500 bucks. In the first episode of season two, a seller showed up at American Jewelry and Loan offering Les a 1989 38-passenger Neo Plan bus that had been converted into a full-blown party bus for bachelors. The seller was hoping to sell his party on wheels in order to upgrade to a 55-passenger bus for his limo service company. Knowing an offer like this doesn't come along every day, Les and Ashley were pretty excited about the possibility of adding the bus to the shop, and when the owner quickly dropped his asking price from $20,500 to $15,000, after Les wondered if there was any wiggle room from the pawn shop owner, he immediately saw the opportunity to make a profitable deal with the desperate customer. Although he refused Les' six and $7,000 offers, the pawnbroker's tactic of pretending to walk away from the deal worked, and the Golds eventually bought the party bus for only $8,000 a whole $12,500 less than what the owner had initially asked for. It doesn't happen very often in Hardcore Pawn that the Golds make a deal off the American Jewelry and Loan property, but in the Season 4 episode, Return of the Queen, Les and Seth went to see their friend Tom, who had called them to take a look at a storage unit he had bought at an auction for $2,100. Rummaging through the piles of garbage, clothes, and furniture, the pawn shop owner eventually found something interesting that turned out to make the trip worthwhile a limited edition antique eagle statue. Only 75 of these special edition eagles had been produced, and Les was quick to make an offer when he realized the potential of this limited showpiece that he thought would be worth up to 15 grand. He started the negotiation in just 3,500, but Tim immediately knew that it had to be worth something if his friend was interested in an item, so he made a counter offer of $7,000. Les eventually managed to talk his friend down to a firm $6,000 deal. 6,500. 6,000, we got a deal. 6,100, we got a deal. 6,000, we got a deal. You only paid 2,100. I mean, this is your payday to heaven. Which still led to a $3,900 turnaround from the storage unit for Tim. When a man came to the American Jewelry and Loan offering Les a 1976 safety white Brooklyn, the pawn shop owner first confused it with the more popular DeLorean that was made famous with the 1985 movie Back to the Future. The Brooklyn is a lot rarer to show up on in the market because only 17 titled Brooklyns ever existed in the United States, with this one having only done 29,500 miles in its entire life. Les was obviously very keen on purchasing it. Unfortunately, a lot of work had to be done to the Brooklyn, including a repainted body and set of tires, along with an entirely new exhaust, which drastically lowered the car's value. The owner had acquired it three years earlier, but after being laid off, he couldn't hold on to it any longer. After doing some research, Les told the customer that the $30,000 he was asking for was too much, since he had found another Brooklyn for a lot less. However, the owner wasn't as desperate as Les had thought and passed on the offer of $10,000, before the two eventually came to the agreement that the owner would pawn the Brooklyn for seven grand. The pawn shop owner secretly hoped that his customer wouldn't manage to pay the money back within 90 days, making Les the new owner and driver of this rare vehicle. If 90 days from today, he loses it, I'm driving it, and I'm keeping it. And that will wrap up today's video guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.